plotting graphs. Uh, if you observe this graph very well, you see that there are two colors. There are small square are drawn with purple color, while big square are drawn with orange color. Each of big square are made up of a pen small square. Now, A, you must distinguish your axis. This is how to distinguish axis. You identify your axis. Making use of the values in the mode observation table, if you are directed to plot T square against L, you will write T square here through the unit. That is second square. This is the vertical scale, this is the vertical axis, this is the horizontal axis. We are going to plot L through centimeter A. This arrow means that it continues like that, the same thing with this arrow. Now, reasonable scale. This is where many students have a lot of challenges. When it comes to choosing a reasonable scale, a uh, scale using multiple or sub multiple of 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 1, 10, 100, and 1000 are allowed. Scales using multiple or sub multiple of 3, 7, 9, and 11 are not allowed. The reason is that when you choose this type of scale, it will be easy to define if the point you want to plot fall in between the, the, the square. Then you will be able to define it by 10. But to get when you want to plot, your plotting must cover minimum of one third of the graph surface. How do you determine minimum of one third of the graph? If you look at this uh, big square, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, there are 10 and 11 big square on the vertical space. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 big square in the horizontal scale. 11 times 10 will give us 1 10. So 1 third, 1 third of 1 pen, which is around 35 centimeters square. That is the 1 third of a uh, graph surface. It may be more than that, but that is the minimum. Uh, line of best fit. Before a candidate can get the mark for line of best fit, he must get about three points correct, plot correctly. Origin is part of graph if required, of if intercept is required. We are candidate plot values different from the values he obtained in the table. He will get zero for plotting, he gets zero for slope, intercept deduction, and deduction from the graph. Now, let us start plotting. Uh, we, are, we are plotting this square against 20. This is 0.81. Uh, before you can choose your scale, you look, look at the smallest value and the highest value. The smallest value of this square is 0.81, the highest is 4. Therefore, it will be reasonable to use multiple of 1 here. So this is 0, 0, the first 10 square will be 1, the next one will be 2, the next one will be 3, the next one will be 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8. Now, when you look at length, we are plotting length on the horizontal scale. The smallest value here is 20, the lowest value is 100. So, as a result of that, it will be reasonable to use a multiple of 10 here. The first b square will be 10, the second one will be 20, the third one will be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So, this is a reasonable scale. Now, we want to start our plotting. Uh, 0.81. Before you can get 0.81, you are going to count 8 small square here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then you produce it to 20. This is 20. You trace it as when you get to that point. We use three symbols to denote, to denote the point. You can use star, you can use cross, you can use dot covered with zero. So I prefer this star because if you make use of cross, it may fall in between this vertical and horizontal, um, horizontal axis. So, if your pencil is not deep enough, the examiner may not be, may not be able to see. That's why I prefer star. Now, the next one, when you are plotting, you plot three decimal places to two decimal places. This one, 1.81 against 20, 1.56 against 40, 2.25 against 60, 3.25 against 80. 4.00 against 100. The next one is 1.56 against 40. This is 1. So 1.1 1 .1 or 2.3.4.5 to be between the fifth and the sixth line. So you trace it to 40. It will be here. The next one is 2.25 against 60. This is 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.2, this is 2.3, it's between two, uh, the second and the top. So you trace it until when you get to 60. That is it. Then the next one, 3.24 against 80. 3.24, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. It's between the second and the top. You trace it to 80. This is it. The next one is uh, 4.0 against 100. This is 4 against 100. Then you join them together with the long ruler. That is your graph. That is your graph. This is how to plot 